preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith wherein you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Pray always with all prayer and supplications in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Not some saints, but all saints. And for me, the utterance may be given unto me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mysteries of the gospel. For, for which I am an ambassador in bounds. Me, Paul was in jail when he was writing this. That therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak, but that ye also may know the affairs of how I do, Tacrius, a beloved brother and faithful minister in the Lord, shall make known unto me all things, who I have sent to you for the same purpose, that ye might know our affairs, and that he might comfort your hearts. Peace be unto you, the brethren in love, with the faith of God and the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be unto you all them that love our Lord Jesus Christ and serenity. Amen. Now let's go quickly to the book of Matthew 12 and 29. I want to get all the scriptures out of the way, so I want to give you some spiritual background. Amen. Amen. To what we're going to go with tonight. And I'm going to show you how to engage in battle properly. Amen, somebody. Because see, when you get going in battle, you need to know what kind of artillery you got. Come on now, come on. You need to know what kind of artillery the opposing ones have against you. Yes. Yeah. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. Oh, yes. 12 and 29 say, Or else how can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house? Well, we're getting ready to embark upon a powerful topic dealing with warfare entitled it's time to go in all the way. The subtopic is engage in battle. I want to first put an emphasis on this because a lot of us, we go through a lot of things that we deal with secondly. What I want you to understand is you got to first know who is your opponent. Yes, all right. And lastly, you need to find out know what kind of ammunition they got against you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> meaning what powers they possess. Come on now. See, a lot of times we go into different warfares and different encounters, but we don't know what's the enemy. Artillery, who is the enemy, who are we going up against? You don't know the ranks that you're going up against? I'm going to teach this thing a little bit if you don't mind. So in order to engage in proper battle, you got to know who are you coming up against? Are you coming up a king that has lost their power many years ago or what? Because see, a lot of us think it's just we're going up against each other. But you got more stuff greater than just going up against each other. Come on now. Come on. Those. The church really don't know how to engage in proper warfare. And the ranks of warfare, different atmospheres, and how the diabolical plans of satanic witchcraft and satanic worship and satanic generals Jesus. are working in the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. What do you mean, prophet? You got satanic things that are going on in the church, in the houses of God, meaning these are apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers that are working in their different ranks and their generals on the other side. And you my don't God. even know. My, 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 my. <clears throat> Just to do a little recap, warfare is warring or a warring against the enemy on the armed conflict. So now with that being said, we have to understand that what is warfare is a raging conflict mm -hmm. against an armed force. And so what I want to do with it in Ephesians 6 and 12 is different rebels, meaning it was spirit rebels. So if you got some pen and paper, this is what I want to take you at. So if you look at Ephesians 6 and 12, it says this, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. <laughs> principalities. Somebody say Principalities. Principalities. If you look at principalities, I want to give you a quick definition. It's like this. They are territorial that are ruled.